Hello there guys, I'm back with another LEGO Hero Factory 5.0 Brain Attack review. This time it's on the unfemale looking character, Breeze. So let's look at the bag. Picture of Breeze, Brain Attack at the top. That's why I cut it through the bottom, didn't want to cut that off. I suggest you cut it through the bottom too, if you care about the bags. Most people do not care about the bags, but I want to keep the packaging. LEGO Hero Factory going down the side. Ages 6 to 12, 44006, and she's 49 pieces. She gives you 400 game points, and her name is Breeze. Alright, back of the bag. Picture of Ogrum, Breeze, and the combiner between Ogrum and Breeze. 400 game points, of course, and the actual size of the head. Alright, that pretty much wraps up the bag. Alright, so let's start with the legs. So far, this looks like a pretty cool set, actually. The legs have new pieces on them. Of course I like them, because they have new pieces on them. And the chest is really cool. I like that they kept the green color here. They didn't go for silver. I know that they're going for silver in the set, but not too much is, is good. So I'm glad that they didn't go for too much silver. Uh, here, the spikes stick up pretty far. Uh, I like them like that, actually. Put them like that, doesn't look that bad. So the chest, yeah, it's fine. I see no problem with that. This arm is um, is fine, it's a bit skinny, but it's fine because the saw, if you pose it like that, it covers up the skinniness of her arm. And the saw is really, really good at spinning. I mean, you can spin this thing pretty darn well. And this other arm, it does not cover up the skinniness, but it leaves bulkness on the top, so I see no problem with this arm. I like the bow, there's just one problem. You can turn these, and they can turn fairly easy, and that kind of sucks, because I wish they made the bow in a way where it didn't turn, and you could just pose it like a normal bow, not one that turns all around. The other parts can turn too, which really kind of sucks. I mean, it's okay. I, I, I see a problem with that, but not too big. You can also take the saw, place it back here uh, on this brown thing, but I don't like it that way on this character. I mean, who would put a saw on their back? It starts up, it'll shred your back up. Sorry, I was being a little gory right there. Um, and the head, Pfizer flips up and to reveal Breeze's new face, ta-da! Yeah, it's okay. I don't think it's that bad, actually. It has a lot of resemblance to her first head. I actually see no problem with that, with the green eyes and stuff. I really see no problem with that. I don't think people should be mad, especially when the visor's flipped over. I think this is just a cool feature, the visor thing. So cool. So really cool. Also, I had two extra pieces of these spikes that they could have easily just put on the back here, but they did not. The instructions told me not to. Also, um, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's that's kind of it. Um, I'm going to try to make this review long by mentioning something that I mentioned in the Scarox review. The new LEGO Hero Factory set names for summer 2013 might be out on Brickset.com. I'm not sure if these are real, authentic, or not, but it seems like we have a Stormer, a Surge, a Evo, and a new Jet Raka. That's what they call it, Jet Raka. I think he's a hero, I'm guessing. And then we have the villains, Frost Beast, Aquagon, and what's his name? I forget. But you can go to Brick Set right now, dash Hero Factory, I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. And you click on 2013 sets on the side of the page. And it should reveal some of the names for the next uh, series. But it turns out there's four heroes and three villains. That's what I'm guessing. Um, and I'm thinking that Lego's not revealing something to us. Kind of like Speedy Demon. We didn't get him till March or February. Uh, pictures. We only got uh, 7 out of 8 of those pictures. Which, for, which were, I'm guessing, Bulk, Stringer, Stormer XL, and, uh, and Nex. And then we got pictures of XT4, Voltix, and uh, what's his name, Poor Hunter. We were th we were th guessing that maybe uh, two heroes face one villain, 
but it turns out the speedy demon came out. That was a totally unrelated subject. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> but, you know. So, to sum it up, this has been my LEGO Hero Factory review on Breeze from the Brain Attack series. Um, this will be my last one for today. I'll come back next, though, with uh, Bulk. See you guys later. Bye.